Hey y'all, what's up? Um, so I am up. It's like one, one something. Spending my time with God. And I wanted to share something with you all. Um, prayerfully, this encourages somebody. Sometimes we can get so caught up on the major things, on the mighty moves of God, that we forget it's those small things that create the perfect atmosphere for those big things to happen. For the big things, the big miracles, the big breakthroughs to come through. It's, the, it's from the place of intimacy with the Lord where the greatest revelations are birthed, where your true identity in Him is revealed. And what the Holy Spirit just began equilibrating it to is the heartbeat. If you're constantly moving and running around, it's hard for you or searching for the big thing like, oh God, where are you? Da, 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 da. You're missing the heartbeat. You're missing the still small voice because in order to hear a heartbeat, you got to be still. You got to sit. You got to be like, okay, you got to get to a place of rest. And it's from that place where you're able to say the heartbeat is a indication that the blood is still flowing, that the blood still works, <laughs> that on the mercy seat, the blood of Christ is interceding on my behalf, that it's covering my, that it's atoning for my sins, that even though I may not see the big things, Father, the heartbeat is still there. It's still alive. The promise is still alive. I'm still alive. There's still hope for me. There's still greater things you want to do in me and for me. And so earlier today, uh, after my shower or while in my shower, the Lord, he, he said something so clear to me. And I was like, OK, so when I got out, I went to seek deeper and he led me to Elijah, first Kings 19. And specifically what he referenced was the whisper. How when you, Elijah just did this major thing, right? And so he ran away to the cave. If you haven't read it, read your Bible, 1 Kings 19. It'll bless you. Um, but anywho, he found himself in this cave. God told him, come outside the cave. I'm about to pass by. God wasn't in the, it said he wasn't in the wind. He wasn't in the earthquake. He wasn't in the fire. And these are encounters, right? These are major things. You would think God would show up in these, uh, boop, but he came after all the noise. After all the noise came that whisper, and with that whisper came comfort. With that whisper came reassurance. Hey, you're not the only one. I still have 4,000 prophets that I have reserved for my glory that have not bowed down to Baal. Through that still small voice, through that whisper, through that heartbeat came instruction. And so I guess what I'm saying is that we have to be a people that look for the heartbeat. Be still enough to know that God, the situation looks dead, but the heart is still beating. So even though Lazarus is, even though Lazarus is not risen, even though his eyes aren't open, I, his heart is still beating. So his heart is still beating means that He's going to be waking up really soon <laughs> or at some point. The promise is still alive. What God has planned for your life is still alive. The heart is still beating. And how do you hear the heart? You focus on what we will call the small thing, which is that place of intimacy. And so I made a commitment to myself that 2024 was going to be the year where I went so much deeper in the things of God. You know, um, I think it says in, what is it, Proverbs 3, 20 through 21, it says that the Lord formed the foundations of the earth with the wisdom. He formed the heavens with understanding, but he formed the deep with his knowledge. So just going deeper in the things of God so that I can go higher, so that I can gain an understanding, but that'll help me have the foundation I need to apply the wisdom of God, not just to my life, but to help other people in their lives as well. And so I guess my prayer today for you is that when you watch this, when you when you listen to this, that it encourages you that the heartbeat proves that the blood still works. 
that God is still moving. It may not be how you want it, but the blood still works. But the blood still works. And we can find rest in that. God, the heart is still beating. The heart is still beating. 